What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. Uh, this is the LED light that I was using over the frag system. It was also on the 125 gallon reef. Now, um, I don't know if you could tell, I'll give you guys a close up look here in a second, but uh, the four diodes here are burnt out. And I do have a fifth one that is burnt out over here. It's not as dark as these four. And um, it just stopped working exactly one year after installing the SB Reef Light PCB board. Literally, I, I checked that video on my page and I actually installed it on April 6th and um, it was April 8th that this died and uh, there was no warning there was no smoke no sound no flashing no nothing it just didn't turn back on so uh, process of elimination to see if maybe it was something on my end I swapped out the variable speed ports checked out the plugs changed out uh, you know where it was plugged in on the apex everything and uh, it just wouldn't turn back on so before I start taking this apart and kind of looking to see if there's anything else we missed, I want to go over a couple things just in case you're not aware of it. Um, this is actually an Aqua Mars light fixture with an SB Reef Light uh, PCB board. And the reason why I did that is I wanted the different color and the better spectrum that they um, claim that they offer. And I will say that there is definitely a better color compared to the Aquamars. It is a more of a purple bluish color, which I do like over my reef. Now, when it comes to growth, honestly, I got pretty much the same growth um, compared to the Aquamars. But uh, there's so many other factors besides lighting that come into play when it comes to growing coral. So I'm not going to um, you know, say it's better or worse than Aquamars. But in my instance, it actually was pretty much the same growth. Now, one thing, if you own these uh, SB Reef Lights or Aquamars, or better yet, let's just call them shit boxes because that's what a lot of people call them. Uh, these two fans here are 180, or no, they're 80 millimeter fans, I believe, not 180. Um, they actually will uh, get really dirty depending on where you live, and they'll stop spinning. Now, what happens is because LEDs get really hot, if one of these fans stop working, um, you can usually get away with it on a normal weather day, but if inside your house gets pretty hot and one of these fans dies, there's a good chance that you'll burn out the board. Um, I've had clients have that happen to them, and there's been other instances in when I've been using Aquamars previously that I've had a fan uh, stop working either because it was dirty, it was dusty, or it just stopped working in general, and then ended up uh, shorting out and burning up the, um, the, uh, the board. So. Um, it could be just my luck, but I've also seen other people and heard other people deal with this and check out the forums. It's just something that happens. So if you do own these lights, please go in and clean them probably, depending on where you live, every three to six months. Uh, you can just get the canned air if you want, or you can actually take it apart and wipe it down on the inside. It's uh, totally your call on that. But uh, besides that, um, as you can see, I don't have the knobs here. I took everything and wired it up to my apex, and that's pretty much how I like to run these lights. Um, through the variable speed ports. If you haven't checked that video out or the installation video, it's in the, um, I believe it's the SB Reflate playlist, and you can learn how to do that. So let's go ahead and take this apart uh, real quick and see if there's anything that I missed. Uh, this is the very first time looking. And if you guys are wondering, these are the brackets that I used to hang it on top of the uh, wood that went across here. So let's just go ahead and take it apart real quick. Now, I real, will say that I really do like these lights um, and the aspect that they're very compact. They are very, very powerful. If you check out the in that reef SB Reef Light playlist, I have the PAR readings on three of these lights uh, on top of my 125, and um, they provide more light than you'll ever need for SBS. And it actually, to a point, if you're not monitoring the PAR output, and um, you know you you get new coral and you don't acclimate them uh, accordingly, you can actually really fry some SPS uh, quickly with these types of lights if you're not careful. So. Keep that in mind. All right, so let's see. It's dusty. Again, these were still spinning uh, at least a week before it burnt out. I mean, it, I don't check them obviously every day because that's not really an option, but there's nothing that seems to be in the way to prevent them from spinning. So I don't think that was it. I don't think the fans were the reason why it burnt out. Now, let's go ahead and unplug this. This is the board itself. And one thing you can do is, I know this sounds weird, but you can see if, you know, smell if there's anything, any electrical components. Usually when they burn up, you can smell it. And then there's been lights that I've used that you can smell that this burnt up, but I don't, there's nothing. It's, it, it seems normal, normal. What I'm going to do is keep this here and take out one of the other PCB boards and hook it up and see if it's just the board or the ballasts. So it doesn't smell burnt. There's no, no wires afraid or anything. Everything looks normal. 
Yeah, so I mean, worst case scenario, I'll check out and see if that works. If um, if the new board works, then I can double check these connections. But there's, yeah, they look, everything looks normal. So, all right, so that's a good sign for the sake of continuing to use it. Not for the board. So yeah, we have this dial burned out. I hope you guys can see that. So. That's straight cooked. This one. And I think these, I, I could be wrong, I'm going to double check, but I'm almost certain that uh, those are on the same channel. And you know what I just noticed? Check out these two. The LEDs themselves came off the board. Huh. And I haven't dropped this or anything. So the LED itself came completely off the board. Huh. Never, I've never seen that before. That, and it's exactly on the same spot on each side. I've never, never seen that. That's... Huh. It's a little fucky. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm going to check uh, after this and just confirm that they're on the same channel because it could have been just one channel blue and then knocked out all four of those lights. But we have this one here as well. I don't know. What I will do, like I said, is I'm going to go ahead and check out another PCB board when I get around to it. That is a, a very in-depth process of changing that out just because I got to take down everything, take the board apart, connect it in here. So it's not exactly uh, very convenient. So I will get around to do it. But right now I have three lights over the uh, eight foot frag tank, which is eight foot by two foot. And then I have four uh, T5 high output lighting or, or yeah, Coral Plus bowls, better yet, and uh, I'm getting great growth. Uh, right now, I will say compared to the 125, the growth is much slower in this tank compared to that tank, but uh, the coloration in this one is absolutely amazing. I thought it was good on my other tank, but it, some of these Acropora are gorgeous with this type of lighting, and right, right now, I just hit the dog bowl, uh, right now the, uh, the PAR output is about 400-ish, a uh, little below, about center point underneath those main lights. And uh, that was about half of what I was running on the 125 at its, at its highest point where the uh, burst nest colony was. So it, uh, you do sacrifice, uh, it seems like, uh, growth for coloration, and I just think that's just something that happens. But either way, guys, um, I'm not going to be purchasing any more SB Reef lights or Aqua Mars. I'm kind of going away from these fixtures, and I'm leaning towards going uh, T5. And uh, I will be using LED strips, and um, it's just kind of where I'm at because I'm really transitioning over to a lot more Acapora. It just seems to be what I enjoy growing more than anything. And don't get me wrong, I love like soft corals and stuff like that, but there's just something about a big Acapora colony that really I'm really attracted to. So with that being said, I'm, I'm really getting into the T5s and uh, pushing that for the new 300 gallon build. But uh, yes, yeah, so, so stay tuned and check out all that. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm not going to ramble anymore on this. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below or contact me directly. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.